was thinking today about an argument that I've been having with somebody where we're talking about, uh, well, the theory of evolution. And, you know, we've all heard it before a million times. The theory of evolution is just a theory. The problem is, in science, we, d we define the word theory to mean something a little different than common speech. I mean, most people think theory is, you know, Professor did it, Professor Plum did it in the library with a lead pipe or something. <clears throat> Hypothesis, wild ass guess. But in science, we know that a theory is actually a body of knowledge, it's a, a model that allows a prediction and explains existing observations, it's all the evidence, it's the both, both the successful and the failed experiments. It's basically this entire encyclopedia of knowledge about one particular subject. That's a scientific theory, not just, you know, this guess about this thing. So because we have a different definition of the word theory than common language, that led me to think, you know, <clears throat> maybe Christians have different meanings for common language words, and that's part of where our confusion comes in. Uh, the first one I'm thinking about is the word justice, because common use of justice is you get punished for the bad things you do or rewarded for the good things you do. But that's not the Christian idea of justice, because the Christian idea of justice is that we're all born in sin and we deserve hell. To be guilty of something that you did not do, that is injustice, that's the opposite of justice. So. I'm not sure whether Christians would define justice backwards, as in what is just is actually unjust and vice versa. But there's no question that Christians view justice differently than we do. Now, if we were to just redefine the words, or come up with, say, the Christian dictionary definition of the words justice, good, evil, and mercy, then, oh, and also logic and reason. So if we had the Christian just like we have scientific theories, if we had Christian logic, Christian mercy, Christian good, Christian evil, Christian uh, justice, then perhaps a lot of our disagreements could vanish. Because, you know, if we're talking about Christian justice, where you're guilty of stuff that you didn't do, well, then I, I can understand why they would think that we, would, we should go to hell, because if you're guilty of things you didn't do, well, then that's Christian justice, and that means you go to hell. So, anyway, that's my idea, that we should just com start coming up with a dictionary of Christian words as opposed to uh, common language words. And if we, if we did that, then perhaps some of this misunderstanding would disappear. I forgot to mention the other half of the Christian justice. Uh, Christian justice is you're guilty of things that you didn't do, hence, you know, the whole dogma of original sin. But it also means that no matter what horrible things you do to whoever, if you ask for forgiveness from Jesus, you don't suffer any punishment for it. So not only do you get punished for things that you didn't do, you don't get punished for things that you did do. So this is definitely not justice as is used in common language. So, you know, Christian justice. God is Christianly just. Oh, the other thing I, I forgot to go into was sin. Um, my understanding is sin means disobedience to God. If sin is disobedience to God, then it doesn't matter what horrible things you do as long as you follow God's orders, as long as you're not disobedient. <clears throat> that means evil is disobedience to God. It's not harming others, it's disobedience to God. It doesn't matter if you kill or rape or pillage or commit adultery or anything, as long as you're doing it on God's command. If you're doing it on God's command, you're not sinning. If you're breaking God's command, you're sinning. So you get, so really the only things you could be guilty of doing is breaking God's command, but if you say sorry, that's fine. This is like a completely different concept of justice and fairness and good and evil than we commonly have. So Christians are sort of thinking in a, their own little way, really.